Okay, so adaptive component this time. Uh, welcome to Arena. Uh, we'll speak about to make keratinol system like this project and the library and how we can do the this design with the shades and how it be in the keratinol system by Revit. So let's start going to Revit. I have this a sample project and you will do this curtain system on this elevation. If I go to my first elevation, I have like 89.9 .9 and 20.15. So let's start to go and make mess. Just adapt my units. Let's say two. Okay. And then I will make my dimensions here eight nine point nine. And then extrude as a twenty point fifteen. Let's make sure we have twenty point fifteen. So now I have my elevation. Here and then we'll start to select this mess, the white surface, and it will be my rhomboid. In this case, let's propose to make um, the dimension for this one. If I back quickly to my AutoCAD, in case of like almost 90, I can use by 4 by 4, and it give me like 2.83 as a half height of this from bytes so in all let's say it will be 5.65 so I will make it by fixed distance in both cases and let's say case like oh this is no this is the double so two points no it will be two point eight three okay that's fine I have like three level and then we can go to And this one like four by four so we can work as a fixed number to reduce a little bit after almost get the dimension that we need to make as a sharp finish edges and then this one it's give me seven by 31 so I can make this let's say eight Or in this case, let's make by that one. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and then we can fix the dimensions later. So we will go new and then we'll choose. Curtain pattern paste. So, curtain panel pattern paste. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And let's say in this one, I will also change my system here to be one void. Okay. And then let's start to make our model. So we will start first to make the extension just to modify first the dimension of this one. We will sorry make like my meters here as a two decimal and in this case I will try to make the same almost 2.83 and here 2.83 and in this case it will give me like almost four meter for this one yep and then we start to put points on each point for the sunboid Okay, and then we will give them height and let's say 2.5 meter. Okay, and then let's connect each one. And also you will connect these points with the spline. Okay, so we make like the base box that we will do our design inside it. As we can see here, if you come back again to this photo, I see like I have my onboard, I have this distance that I make it. This is my, let's say this is my four main adaptive point. And then I make this extrude 2.5 meter. And then how it looks my shade from outer points I have in this three points two curves from this side and in the back I have two curves down so two curves up and two curves down so here easily I can add two points in the middle of each one and then we will take it as a reference to another point, but important first to take the, the flat, okay, and also the other points. Clip up if you want to change the plan or work plane that you work in, and then now well, I stay here. Let's again. Okay, okay, and then I will make here as an offset 0.4 meter, and I think this is okay, and no, we will take more than this one, so we will take, you know, move these two points, we can host put here, and click, let's make the other point. Okay, and then these points. In this case, my arrow in this way, so it will be minus 0.4 to go in the same level to inside. And then I will make my arc like that. And 
like this one. So we made the first two arcs, and I will do the same in the down point. So it will be as a quick here with two points, and then another two points here, another set. Okay, and let's put the same value of point four minus point four. And then the same I will do supply and then in this case I make the two arcs so after this I need to the line that connect from here until here to make the my full fabric or my full shade so from this point until that point I will make my line and then as we can see if we take like a quick create form from these four line two three four and then create my form make sure that I make it by I don't need other thickness, so it can be as a shade like that. And then on the other side, I will use same here. And as I can see, I made my first point for the sunboard. My fabric linked from this two line and give me like this diamond shape so thank you for watching and follow us in part two to check how we can make the other parts how we can do this connections by adaptive components and continue the full frame for this one so thank you for watching don't forget to Follow us and subscribe and see you in the next video.